So on February 9th, was it 9th? I think it was 9th. I just looked at it, but I already forgot. February 9th, 2014, I did a video on this computer. It was a little more complete back then. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I, I've, I've ran into issues with this trying to get it to work in the past. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just take another look at it. Now that I have a little more knowledge as to what this thing is, it's a tie-in board. Model S1830S Pentium 2 PCI ISA. This is a Pentium 2 system that uses an AT case and an AT keyboard connector, AT mouse connector. It is an AT, but it's Pentium 2. Um, it has AGP all the way up here at the top. Actually, let me uh, zoom you in a little bit better. So, ah, oh, crap. Sorry. It has AGP, which you can barely see, but there it is. PCI, it has four PCI slots, and then it has four ISA. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine um, expansion ports. However, the mouse blocks the. Uh, the mouse and uh, the mouse port blocks the uh, AGP, the um, crap, the parallel port. You know, blocks top P PCI. You know, so it's not an easy system to work on, and it do it is actually compatible with both AT and ATX power supplies. Um, And it complies with Canadian IS or ICES 003 Class B. But this is just a bizarre system. And I want to give it a shot at working again. Um, I'm looking, what I'm looking for now is obviously somewhere these USB hook up. <laughs> I don't know where they do. Oh, they're right down there, right next to it. So I don't know what I have in this thing as far as graphics card goes. So we're going to find out together. I have another donor machine that I kind of have set up as my vintage Cayman system when I, <laughs> I had the belief that, oh, I'm going to have time to do that. So this is a Cirrus Logic chip. Um, it's just a VGA BIOS, it says. I have no clue what any of this is. It's got that chip. I'm going to have to go over there and get the keyboard. Uh, which graphics card do I have in this one? So let me take a look at this. Uh, oh, as far as I know, this is a Pentium 2 300. Uh, this machine <laughs> is a Socket 7 and it's a uh, uh, it's an AMD K6. I want to say it's a 450 or a 500, one of the two. And uh, we'll probably put this card in this system if we can keep it working long enough. This is an ATI Rage Pro. It's a little bit better. Oh wait, that's a, that goes into a port that's going to be blocked. So let's just uh, let's steal this IDE cable. Let's just see what we can get working on this uh, on this other one. I might. I'm gonna need to pull this DVD drive that's in here. Uh, this one's missing the power supply because of this. If any of you watched my series on that paint computer, one of my theories was that the power supply was dead, so I stole that power supply. And it's somewhere in my closet at home. I just... It's not lost. I I, know, I kind of know where it's at. I figure if you kind of know where it's at, it's not really lost. This one has a zip drive in it. 
floppy drive. I'm not going to worry about a floppy drive. But I will worry about this DVD drive. And I, I planned on doing this video over in the other trailer. But this one has air conditioning. And it's cooled down to 88 degrees in here. It was 99 when I started. Or actually when I uh, first got here and turned the generator. So I fired up the generator. And then I went and got the other computer. This one I took from home this morning. I texted my wife when I was here. She probably remembers me taking this computer. So she's probably like, oh, okay, I know what he's doing. So... She knows I'm not doing anything stupid. I mean, I could be doing something stupid, but just not that kind of stupid thing. So let's also take this memory. I think this is 64 megs. It might be 128. This is another one that's AT, but also has compatibility with ATX. So this is a 128 meg, and this is 128 meg. So this is actually 256 meg. So what I'm going to do... Rather than boring you guys forever, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop the CD drive in, pop some memory in, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think I got everything hooked up. Uh, random Dell gave me a 40 gigabyte hard drive and a clock battery. I've got this DVD drive in. I'm hoping Windows XP has serial mouse drivers because I don't have a PS2 mouse here and something's weird about this USB plate so along with the connection so I'm a little fishy about actually hooking it up and trying to plug anything into it so let's see what we got It like actually worked last time I messed with it. It's been a while. Like it really wasn't that long ago I messed with it. Okay, so we got a little, a little troubleshooting to do. It might not, you know what, I think that, I don't think this board can take 256 megs of RAM. Let me, uh, pop one of these sticks out. If not, I'm going to pop, uh, pop some RAM out from something else. Uh, see memory everywhere. Yeah, I don't think this thing's capable of taking, uh, I don't think it's able to take 128 meg sticks. I think it's capable of taking the memory, just not all at once. Uh, give me another moment. Okay, so the problem is actually a top slot. So let's see here. I haven't really messed with this. So, let's see, it is a 300 megahertz. I got 392 megs of RAM because I have three 128s in there, I think. I uh, see my is wrong. So we'll go into uh, setup. Uh, we're not going to have a floppy drive. It thinks it's 1996, whatever. First boot device, I want to be the Atapi CD ROM. Well, let's see what's on this hard drive. And, and I think this is one that uh, I'm going to need to uh, wipe because it's a. I think it had a password on it in the Dell that I got it from. So, what happened is there's something wrong with this top slot. So. So, we'll be okay. To, uh, do what we're doing.
So it's a 300 megahertz, so there's no reason I can't run Windows XP on it. BSP CPU error microcode. What the hell does that mean? I've never seen that before. So because this had, I think this had XP on it, either that or it had uh, Windows 2000, what we'll do is we'll put a, uh, we'll do a, a fast, uh, fast format. And it's come down another degrees in here. I'm really wishing I had uh, brought shorts to wear after this. But this is a really unique system. I kind of really like it. But it's just so bizarre. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Am I going through puberty again? <laughs> it's so bizarre that it's a. I mean, that it's a. Water. And it's an AT, but it's a Windows or a Pentium 2. I'm going to do right now. Oh, this is doing that. Is I want to get numbers off this motherboard. Uh, we'll do flash on so it's a I'm going to look this up real quick so what is this a T-Y-A-N and it's a S18 S18 30S and there's a book from a non-tech or an article from a non-tech on it so we're going to set up Windows XP Going to agree. Hundred thirty dollars for a Pentium Two BX motherboard. Not a bad price. You think you serve the latest you know, retail? Blah blah blah. So, one second. Hey, what am I doing here? I don't want to delete the partition, so what I'll do is I'll use quick format. So it's the Intel 440BX chipset, form factor AT with ATX power connectors. Classic of socket 7 boards with a twist. Uh, they, they were complaining about the lack of heat sink. Oh, wow. Now I see why they're la complaining about the lack of heat sink on the uh, chipset because that is a toasty chipset. So I kind of want to see what kind of processors I can fit on that. I could put a uh, chipset cooler on it, put a fan up here in the front, blow it in because this is actually like a really cool uh, board. So the reason I'm putting XP on here is I, I made an imp about 10 minutes before I went to bed last night, I decided I was going to come up here and do this video. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare, so I downloaded a, uh, an image of the uh, operating system I wanted to use. And I'm like, ah, I'll just throw it on a USB drive, which is right here. And... Uh, that I would uh, go ahead and just make it here using my MacBook. Well, my MacBook does not like these particular CDRs, or these CDRs are bad. So, I don't know. But, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pause the video for now. And I will get back to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so you can see in the background, this is still copying files. The CD drive. I think this DVD drive is pretty slow, but this is actually called the Tsunami AT, 
and it's the revision, well, this one looks like it's a revision 1.3. Um, it is, I'm really curious what processors it's actually capable of. It gives you a whole bunch of information, but doesn't really tell you a whole heck of a lot. Um, uh, they're giving you different things for that. So what I didn't realize is this motherboard is actually, an, or this chipset at least, is an upgrade, or yeah, upgraded, an overclockable chipset. So this is actually the layout of the board. And uh, it's got a lot of really cool stuff on it. Uh, it's a slot one type. So CPU settings for 66 megahertz bus. So I can get anything in here up to like a 500 megahertz it looks like. But yeah, you are able to overclock it using jumpers. And uh, it's actually... So the soft power connector is actually in the middle, the one for the uh, for the um, for the ATX power supply. That is oh, okay. I see it right there. See, I would have never guessed that because it doesn't look like it's labeled very well. But yeah, this is the BX440 chipset. I don't know. Yeah, and it's the AGP chipset. So it's actually pretty cool, and what I might do is I'll go ahead and take the PDF off of here because I downloaded the PDF. I'll put a link to it in the video doobly do thing down below if you want to look at this board. Maybe tell me why I'm an idiot on certain things I've done so far. <laughs> but I just really want to see. I kind of want to see what this will perform like with XP because I've ran it with. Uh, Windows ME, and it actually ran really well. And I bet that uh, air conditioner is just dumping water all over the ground. But, uh, oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. I need to take that other, uh, other air conditioner. I'm going to be letting a friend borrow that. So, I do have all the fascias and all this stuff for the. I just grabbed. When I moved from where I lived to where I live now, I had it disassembled and I just left it disassembled when I moved everything, but I know where everything is. I know where this drive tray is. I know where uh, the front panel is. Um, if I actually do anything with it, I'm probably going to use a compact flash card. But for right now, this is just, I want to make sure that this hardware works and I was having a lot of issues. And I think it was because of the uh, the upper PC or the upper uh, SD RAM slot. But uh, you know how this installation goes, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So I decided to Google uh, this BSP CPU uh, error, and what do you know? The very first one. I post I posted a message earlier about my P2 266 showing up as P133 on a Tsumi 8 or Tyon Tsumi AT motherboard. I tested CPU on another machine and it's fine. I noticed when it boots up, this is fine. Another person says I assume the motherboard isn't jumperless. Make sure that you have the jumper configuration correct. So I'm going to have to mess with that in a little bit. But I decided why not Google that while I have this extra time. So. In case any of you were worried or wondering about that, that's exactly what it means. So, I'll get back to you when I have something interesting to show. Hey, while we're waiting, I just got a quick question. So, I replaced my Galaxy S8 with this, uh, hey, wow, that's a very shiny screen. With this OnePlus 8. It's not the Pro, it's just a OnePlus 8. Let me know if you want me to do a, do a review on it. So far, I can say it's pretty positive, and uh, I got very few gripes. I, I love, I gotta be honest, I do love the, where the fingerprint sensor is, because at work, I leave it on my desk a lot, so I can just come up and double tap on it, and then, boom, I'm in. But, uh, 
that's not what this video is about. So I just want to, I want to know, what do you guys think about having me do this uh, little video on this uh, particular phone? I'm not really a phone reviewer, so I'm not going to be good at it. <laughs> but I do like it so far, and uh, the battery life has been incredible, like absolutely bonkers, incredible. But uh, anyway, let's go. I'll uh, pause this up. I was actually just talking to somebody. I was texting them, and I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, let me ask them if they want me to do a review. So, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. So, because I'm weird, I'm actually watching my old video of this computer. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought you guys would be interested. I actually, I wanted to find out what I knew about it back then. <laughs> Turns out I really didn't research a whole heck of a lot about it. I just, I opened, I let it sit for like two or three months after the uh, girl gave it to me. And then I decided one day, hey, let me just see what this thing is. I pulled the case. Oh my God, that's a Pentium too. And then just grabbed my camera, which was my phone back then. And started filming about it and to this day that's kind of still how I do videos I try to do I, I, I have definitely looking at that I have definitely stepped my production values up quite a bit not massively but quite a bit <laughs> so yeah I don't want to make this video too long so I'm going to go ahead and pause this again all right so the install was successful there was no reason not to believe it would be. So I did actually end up hooking up the USB ports and I got them hooked up right. This is not a great um, Windows XP experience. It's not terrible. I've definitely had worse from some of the uh, Dells. <laughs> I know a lot. I know a few uh, Dell fans that are that would not be happy to hear me say that. And this mouse also does not like this surface, so that doesn't help. But uh, but yeah, it, it works. It works pretty good. Um, yeah, I obviously wouldn't be leaving it with XP. I would do some sort of Windows 9X experience on it. I'm honestly not sure how much of this jumping around is the, the computer or how much of it is actually the mouse. But, I, I really wanted to get back to this machine because I always had high hopes for it. And I always thought it was, I, I didn't leave it, I didn't like how I left it um, without any closure in the last video on it. And... Uh, yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't know how much of this is the mouse not liking the surface and how much... Oh, I got 30 days left of activation. Whatever. I think it's doing a lot of stuff in the background. Uh, this is... Just to remind anybody watching... Uh, Propertize... It is... The Windows... Uh, Pentium... 300 megahertz, 384 bags of RAM. Uh, let's see. I just want to see if there's any. Uh, I think I did look in the uh, device manager, but I don't remember. All right. So we have for display adapters. It's just a Cirrus Logic. I, don't, I think I have to go in the other way to find out any information on it. Yeah, this is not the greatest. XP experience, Cirrus Logic. We can go further. Oh no, I guess we're stuck at 800 by 600. I need to find a better PCI graphics card. The adapter has one mega RAM. So, I'm surprised it's even doing as well as it is. Okay, let's do a. Uh, let's, I just want to see what this will do on a restart. So let's hit restart. I'm going to try to set a timer down below. 
and hopefully I forget to edit out the last piece where I messed up. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so this is a fully functional machine now, and it does show the USB device mouse. It's a 440 BX AGP set. It's a 1997 BIOS Tion Tsunami AT. Uh, this one's the version 2.0000. But yeah, it did not. It did not have the drivers necessary to run the uh, the uh, serial mouse. That's why I went ahead and did what I did with the uh, hook up the USB. So I'm going to leave that alone since it is working. Yeah, it doesn't do the serial mouse. So it took a little while. It definitely took a little while. What time does it think it is? Same found new hardware mouse. Was it finally finding this one? Ah crap, I got the wires crossed. Yeah, it's definitely not doing anything with the uh, other mouse. So, we have a little bit of closure. We know it works. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do with it yet. I might, like I said, go ahead and make this a... I have a couple games I want to play that I think this might actually do very well. I would just need a better graphics card. I might move around some of these ports so I can use that AGP port. Um, I don't think the battery I installed in here is going to be any good. So I'll definitely need to put a battery in it. I might look for some BIOS updates on it. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to cut. Bleh. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Check out my other stuff. So, be blessed, everybody.